Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Chrono Cross! Let's talk to our old friends one more time. I would have, well, after talking to them the first time, you can talk to them again to get a little more dialogue. I would have done it a couple episodes ago, but I was running short on time. Give it your best shot? Hot shot? No, no, we've got a better shot than that. And also, someone was telling me in a previous video or two, that if you use the Astral Amulet on Luca, you get a little extra dialogue here. So, thanks for sharing that with me, viewers. Ah, well, there you go. By the way, the reason Lynx went after Kid, if I didn't explain so earlier, or if the dialogue didn't explain it too well to you, viewers, the reason Lynx killed Kid was because Kid developed or installed or whatever the Prometheus circuit, which is what was preventing fate from getting access to the frozen flame. So, there you are. He wanted to get, I don't know, a password from Kid or something or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, let's use the time egg here. To the darkness beyond time. This is it. Let's go. Let's save Scala. Save the world. Well, gee, you think? Can we go now? Oh, no, not yet. Yeah, we're going to talk a little more to keep her waiting. Yeah, she's been waiting a long time for you, Serge. It's over 9,000! I'm sorry, viewers. I couldn't help myself there. Yeah, yeah. Kind of interesting that they would give Kid that quote instead of Guile, huh? Let's show Lavos what we're made of! Kind of like Sephiroth and Tights in Final Fantasy VII. So first things first, I want to build up my element power just a little bit. Because you don't want to fight this guy normally like you might in, well, any other final boss really. You want to use the Chrono Cross on this guy. He has a tendency to use uh, green elements, but let's not worry about that. Now, we have to use the elements in a certain order and then play the Chrono Cross. The order that I have listed here. Remember what they were saying? You have to play these musical tones to activate the Chrono Cross. And the order in which you do it was given to us a few times in Terra Tower. So let's do that now. Let's see, yellow, red, green, blue, black, white. And I should be able to do this before the Time Devourer can get another move in. Let's see. There we go. Eagle Eye. I don't even care about the buffs at all. As long as I got a, a minute here. Uh, by the way, I got the sunglasses in the last episode. The way those work is, uh, it's, it's like the prism specs in Chrono Trigger. It boosts your damage output by some amount or whatever, and then, well, that's pretty much it. It's pretty good. It's a lot of extra damage. Uh, interestingly enough, you cannot equip the sunglasses and the moon glasses at the same time. It's like its own equipment type, so. Nice to put that little detail in there. And also, I forged a whole bunch of extra rainbow equipment for later. So, um, I listed it in the video description there. Hopefully, I can remember that. And there we go. Okay, so we've got the element field set up there. Or, well, the Chrono Cross element field. So, let's use the Chrono Cross now. There is no Scala, only Zool. Or maybe there is. Did it work?
Yay! Awesome victory music, I suppose. Why are my symbols cutting out? Eh, whatever. So is this the last time that we'll see Lavos? I think so. I mean, they're not making another Chrono game. Not in my lifetime, so... Oh well. Great job, Surge. You defeated Lavos and freed Scala. Now you got your own mail-order bride, I guess. Do they really have mail order brides in real life? Really, viewers? I find that hard to believe. That's like something they just say in TV shows, right? I mean, that's not real or anything, right? Really, game? Well, anyway, we freed Scala. Yay! Looks just like Kid. Even the eyes and everything, you know? Excellent music here. Or even for the whole game, really, but yeah. Well, you've only been waiting 10,000 years. And this is Scala talking to us. Uh, just so you know, whenever you've heard so that voice talking to you, that was Scala. She was, uh, remember what they were saying about the frozen flame? Uh, how, uh, what is it? The Frozen Flame links you with Lavos, right? Well, it links you with the Time Devourer, which Scala was a part of. So whenever you heard the Frozen Flame talking to you, that was really Scala, because obviously Lavos has, or Lavos is not sentient. You know, it could only be Scala talking to you. So yeah, like back at Chronopolis, in the Terra Tower, or atop the Terra Tower, when a voice was talking to you, that was Scala, trying to, you know, set you up, essentially, for getting your body switched and having to get your body back and going through hell, basically. But, yeah, pretty much. It's all her fault! Oh, so now suddenly you're an environmentalist. What is Zervan, anyway? Where did that come from? I have no idea. Is that like some translation or something like that? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Yay! Everything's fine now. No more plot dumping. That's it. It's, it's over, Surge. I, I'm not going to overwhelm you anymore. That, that's okay. Thanks. Thanks a whole bunch. Mr. Enigma? No. No, just an ordinary. And each character that you have, other than Surge and Kid, I think, have a little extra dialogue there. Play it with different characters. See what they say for yourself, viewers. Oh, so Scala has an accent? Has the accent? Okay. So she is Australian, not like uh, Harley there, apparently. Well, there you go. So, uh, the Zeals, or the Zealites, or whatever the term is for them, they're all Australian, apparently. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just find that a little odd, that's all. I guess maybe that's how Australia was created in this wor world. It sank into the ocean and created Australia. 